um, we're talking about Chadwick Bosman, who played um, King T'Challa in the iconic Black Panther. He died on Friday of um, cancer. He died at his home in the Los Angeles area with his wife and family by his side. Of course, he had no children. Um, his death was a shock to many as his struggle with cancer was never made public. In a statement released by his family, Bosman was diagnosed with colon cancer four years ago. A moment yeah. of silence to Chadwick. May so rest in perfect peace. Amen, amen. I was sad. I was shook to my entire core. Because when I first saw four years, I was like, wait, Wakanda was in cancer. Mm -hmm. Every other, like, what's the other series? Twenty One Bridges. Twenty One Bridges was in cancer. In five like, God, five God. It, yeah. I'm like, what? Like, I was shocked. And I, 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 he did so much for the culture, so much. Um, and you can never stop talking about him if you're talking about black people and talking about the such such an impact that he left being the first superhero that had meaning that was in the forefront and everything. I think even him as a person was quite was quite dedicated to the community. He was he was such a pleasant soul, mm. and I really wish that it was a lie that he didn't die like that. Yeah. But he knew, and he I'm knew. glad that he knew um, because I feel like that would have obviously made him a lot more intentional about how he was living. There was an interview I saw where they were saying, okay, what about Black Panther? So he's like, I'm, gonna, I'm dead already. And then they asked me another question, I said, I'm dead already. They asked me another question, I said, I'm mm -hmm. dead. And then like, we don't watch it today. And I said, well, I'm serious, you know, I'm dead there, already. There are lots so of like, things. If you go back to listen to his interviews, yeah, he was saying yeah. that, it probably will make sense to a lot of people yeah. like this time. But now, it's beginning yeah. to make sense. I think and, and as then, much as, sorry, as much as it is really sad, I think he... Like he, since you, you already said he knew, so I think that made him understand the yeah. meaning of life, and mm. his life became a purpose for him. Yeah. So he had to do something. Lived, that, yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm more inspired or more sad. Mm. So it's just in between, and I'm, I'm feeling everything at the same time, mm. and I just want to say. Thank you to him, mm. wherever he is. If he I, I like really that he us. lives. I like how the, the impact he had on mm. my personal life. A lot of my friends were calling, and one of my friends had a conversation and said, If I want to give you flowers while you're still alive, because we're all going to mm. die one day. Yeah. And I, I feel like that also shook me a, a little bit to be more intentional about my friends. Um, and even social media, like when he started losing weight, I'm not going to lie, I was like, Why is this guy losing so much weight? Um, I didn't think it was drugs, even though I saw that speculation on social media. I just thought, are you like trying to, I don't know, I don't know what it was. Um, and I think that for me also was an eye opener that I need to start being a lot more intentional about people. Like there's a lot of things that could be going on that people are dealing with that they don't know and maybe show my affection and show my my um, my love for people while they're still here because we're all going to go one day at least and we don't know when. So. I, you know, I'm hoping that I can be as intentional as he was. I like so the I fact that um, you touched on um, the fact that you don't know what demons everyone is dealing with. Everyone has a problem. Even the people with the brightest smile, the people with the sh best laughter are going through one pain or the other that you don't know about. So mm -hmm. it just says be kind to people. And it also tells me that I don't have an excuse. You don't have an excuse. You don't have an excuse to be great. If I'm mm -hmm. dying man, still put in all his efforts. Mm. What about me that I still have my life? I don't know. I haven't gone for a proper medical checkup, but by God's grace, of course, I think I have a very good health, right? So if I have a very good health and um, I have everything at my feet, what is stopping me? If a dying man can do it. And you didn't know. I didn't know. We were watching this guy. He gave us one of the greatest movies that we'll ever talk about. And we didn't know that then it just shows that we have no excuse. So yo, to answer your question, I don't know if I'm more sad or motivated. I mm. think I am more motivated because this man has shown the world True. that no matter what True. you're going through, you can conquer. Ah, but yeah. death I think stings, I'm actually more, guys. more motivated ah. as well. No, it stings. Sad, I wish he was here longer. I, there's yeah. so much more that Chadwick could have done, so mm. much more. I, even with his wife that they got married secretly. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wish they had children. I wish they had something I, that... I'm beginning to think that not having children thing might have been a deliberate decision by mm. both of them, knowing what he's going through. But whatever it is, I'm happy. I'm happy he's getting the um, tribute and respect he deserves from mm. every corner. 
Um, for me, I wish he was alive to enjoy his um, superhero yeah. um, moments um, longer because um, he actually worked to be there. I mean, uh, when I listened to his speech um, regarding his, um, when the he went back to his university, Howard University, yeah. and he was talking about how he was fired from his set because he was trying to talk about how black people were being portrayed. And now he had the opportunity to represent black people in um, <laughs> the way he mm -hmm. he would love them to be portrayed. And, he never and, did and no stereotype. That didn't type. stay so long. And I like how he was really intentional about the roles he played. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, he wanted the, the... Everybody wants to have a role. Actually, if that is your job, you want to have a, a role. But when you go the extra mile to say, I'm not going to play this role because it it's doesn't align less. with mm -hmm. my um, beliefs and values, then... It, it takes a lot of rejection, a lot of, oh, mm, mm. leave that person on this side, but you still have to stay the course, right? Mm. So, I mean, I'm inspired and rest in power is what I have to say. Mm. Yeah. Okay.